Hello, I'd like to share with you an event that happened to me that actually helped me to overcome my fear of death. In order to really share this story, I need to give you a little bit of a background of my story. When I was two years old, my mother and father were killed tragically in a car accident. All nine of us kids at that time were adopted by a family that lived in another state. So that family took us in. Unfortunately, that mother, my adoptive mother, she too passed away when I was 10 years old. It was after also that at that time, I should say, that I became fearful. At night, I would lay in my bed and I would think that I was dying and I didn't know what to do. But what I did felt like, feel like the right thing to do was to pray. So I did pray. And I said the Our Father, I would say, say my Hail Marys. And so life continued. I got married at a young age. When I was 24, I was pregnant with my fourth child, Edward. I was seven months pregnant, actually. It was on a summer day, and I was uh, vacuuming our camper. I was using a Kirby vacuum cleaner, actually, and I was barefoot. I was standing in the sand in our farmyard, and I had my two little daughters with me on the side in the camper with me. And I started to vacuum. I was actually had to had to switch my um, attachments on the vacuum cleaner. And as I was doing that, the vacuum grabbed my head. It flung my head onto the vacuum cleaner, and I began to see flames in my head. I couldn't say anything. I couldn't get myself away from it because I was uh, being electrocuted. And, and it was at that point that I knew I was gonna die if God did not intervene. I cried out to God and I said, God, you cannot let me die. I have kids that need their mother. I have a husband. And as I am saying these things to him, I started to feel my body float out of, um, up into the air. I went up about maybe 12, 15 feet, give or take a few feet. And then, then I was back in my body. What had happened was there was a young girl that worked for us at the farm. She had unplugged the plug uh, from the outlet, which of course the electricity stopped. So as, I, um, as she had done that, I lifted my head up and I started to say my name, my phone number, because I thought, oh my gosh, my, I have no brains left. And, uh, and I told Regina to please call 911. I grabbed one of my daughters, she grabbed the other one, and we ran to my mother-in-law's house that was about 75 feet away. I laid on the couch, and the paramedics were there within five minutes. Uh, they rushed me to the hospital, and it was at that point that my husband was uh, in the um, ambulance with me. We went to the hospital. Thank God my baby Edward was okay. I had some burns on the bottom of my feet and they released me that day. But what interestingly came out of that was that spirit of, of fear of dying, that spirit of death, and also just being fearful of unnatural things that I knew I shouldn't be fearful of, but I just couldn't, I didn't know what to do with it. Very interestingly, <clears throat> excuse me, from that, God delivered me of that fear of death. I had such a close encounter with death that somehow in his grace and his mercy, he took that fear of death away from me. That was uh, 30 plus years ago. And I would just encourage whoever's listening that yes, we, we all will face death someday, but I knew without a shadow of a doubt that that was not my time to go. And that is why I cried out so much to God that day. And he delivered me. And I've had a couple of close encounters with death. But I believe that when it is our time to go, he will give us that grace to just step into our next um, uh, eternity. And it won't be fearful. And uh, so I, I, I'm thankful that I had this opportunity to share my story with you. And uh, I hope it, it's a blessing to all of you. And what I would like to leave you with is in Isaiah 43, it says, um, fear not. For I have redeemed you. Thank you.